um, the risk perception, I mean, women are generally risk averse, I would say. They are satisfied with a beauty parlor or a tailoring shop or a, a boutique at the best. They, they're, uh, one is because of the lack of collateral security availability, uh, because of the inheritance issues and other socially uh, relevant issues that are out there. They're not able to scale up their businesses and go for a larger amount of funding from the ecosystem. They're not able to claim that. Uh, second, uh, even if uh, uh, a larger problem is the lack of formalization of uh, uh, the, the uh, entrepreneurs, I would say. Most of our women entrepreneurs are still micro level players and their, um, their businesses are cash based. So they don't have a digital trail uh, built in to prove their, uh, their track and uh, how credit worthy a person am I, how credit worthy a business am I. So even in a GAFA world where uh, there are a lot of fintechs and we, we also, Federal Bank, we believe in digital at the fore and human at the core. So we have a lot of uh, digital uh, 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 platforms built in where the algorithms are based on digital trails uh, to uh, serve the customer. But they, uh, the connect that has to come in from the customer side is that they have to be willing to be part of the formalized economy. They have to do the registrations, they have to, that, which is a cumbersome process. Right. Uh, even, but when government, if you, the good news is that there is a lot of government initiatives coming in, uh, which will help women to be part of the formalized economy. And once that happens, um, flow of credit will be much easier to them.